this being the second program, we're going to move on to using ram's horn as opposed to staghorn, which is what we've been using so far. And as you can see from this offcut of staghorn, there's a marrow in the middle and it's really just a piece of bone and quite immovable. Whereas ram's horn is quite different. With a heating process, you can actually move ram's horn into whatever shape you want. So let's look at a few pieces of ram's horn to begin with. Now the first stage is to squash the horn flat and get the side curl of the horn out. To do that, we have to boil it, first of all, and put it between two steel plates in between a vise and tighten it up and flatten the horn. So let's go and boil the horn. And there we are. You can hear it's got quite a dead sound to it, which indicates it's nice and soft. Now we're going to place it between the plates, like so and we'll in place the plug here which we talked about just now to stop the hole from closing up when we squeeze it that will prevent that from happening now as we squeeze the horn up like this you can see the nose part here actually being pushed over by the wooden peg Okay now, the horn is now flattened and we've got the side curl taken out. Okay now, the horn is now flattened and we've got the side curl taken out. Just turn the file around until you find an angle at which it cuts well. At the moment, I think probably this angle is, is coming off much better. Now, the final stage before we actually polish the horn is to use wire wool. So I'm going to give it a really hard scrub with wire wool all over.